All right, everyone. No. Give it up for Portland's own David Little. Give it up. Thank you, Rob. When I edit the tape, I'll uh, I'll, I'll put a laugh track yeah, in there. It's really loud. And so it just sound like. Anyway, uh, I'm David Little, and um, I. Uh, going to do a couple of impressions, some of them you might recognize, and others you may be like, what, you know, i never seen or heard that before, so um, appreciate your attention, and uh, I'll get into the first one. Any football fans in the house? No? Okay. First impressions, football player. That was the sound of New York Jet quarterback Tim Tebow losing his virginity in New York. Big Apple. Sex in the City. Those that don't know Tim Tebow, he's a very Christian type of dude that says he has never had sex before and that he's a virgin. We'll see how long that lasts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Normally the crowd is giving it up for the President of the United States. <laughs> Thank you. Usually some girls in the audience are like, we love you. I love you back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support in the election. It's obvious why I was able to pull it out. Because I was able to listen. I heard the blue states. I heard the red states. I hear your thoughts. I hear your dreams. I hear everything. <laughs> and I even heard, I heard it through the grapevine. I heard it through the grapevine that Mother Nature has a bet with Donald Trump, who, if I won the election, Donald Trump would come back reincarnated by Mother Nature as a black man. Congratulations, congratulations to the president. I am Donald Trump. I'm black, obviously. I'm broke. And um, very humble. I have been, I've been fired a number of times. And um, one thing that's been very difficult has been difficult getting a job because my hair, I look like Ronald McDonald. They call me Ron. And uh, not really used to that. One thing that I am happy about being a black man, I am huge. I'm huge. I'm very huge. Thank you, President Obama. Thank you, Mother Nature. Gobble, gobble. My name is Tom. Tom the turkey. And uh, I hate this time of year. I'm a paranoid turkey that's an alcoholic. Gobble, gobble. I drink wild turkey to help ease the pain because all these people, they try to act like they're my friend, 
They invite me over for dinner. They turn the heat off so it's really cold. And they try to get me to go in the oven. It's not right. Gobble, gobble. Being a turkey this time of year is not easy. It's very difficult. You don't know how hard it is. It's really, really hard. Okay? I, it's really hard for me, but I've had to decide to go on a diet so I don't die. Looking too plump, too juicy. Very hard. Gobble, gobble. So, what did you do? Tom the turkey and all my turkey bros a favor for this time of year. You know, I was looking at the chicken and they're looking pretty good. Pork, ground beef, give them a try. So leave turkeys like me alone. You got big problems, man. <laughs> gobble, gobble. David Little, thank you for listening. Thank you, Eugenios. Thank you. Yeah. If it's not funny, then it's spoken word. If it's funny, <laughs> consider it comedy. Okay, so, um, well, um, there's people from out of town. Welcome. And, uh, you know, this is a town where you can, like, die from falling trees. When it, seriously, I was listening to the news, and there was uh, people that was like, there was a cop. A tree fell on him today. He's in a hospital right now as we speak. There's a lady had a tree fall down. You know, if I if I die, I don't want to die from like something like that. That's kind of thing where you want to say, God, time out. Hold up. Let's let's go. This, let's do this back again. Because uh, I don't know. You know, I find myself looking up at the stuff at the trees and everything like that when that's happening. You know what? You spend too much time looking up at the sky. Walking, you get hit by a car, right? Get hit by a bus. It's just Mother Nature is just crazy like that. Well, speaking of crazy, we had an election recently, right? And uh, they didn't pass the pot. Uh, you know, they could have legalized it here in Oregon. You know, if they did, so I was asking the host, if, uh, if we legalized pot here, would that have been like a, a, a prize for the night or something? Uh, Get a big bag. Oh, they got Twinkies now to compensate for that. Okay, Twinkies. That's a Twinkies. A, that's an alibi for you know just wanting to gorge. For me, it is anyway. You know. Oh man, I gotta get my last box. I gotta get some. You know, if I can't get the real deal, maybe I can get some imitation, something that looks like it. You know. Oh, oh, oh. I got a sweet tooth. I got a sweet tooth. Yeah. So. There's yeah, people that got pissed off after the election. There's a lot of people that want to secede from the union. They want to leave the United States. A lot of folks are really pissed off. They want to leave. You know what? I say, go ahead. There's a long line of people wanting to get in here, right? So, you know, okay, you guys that want to leave, get the hell out. And then we got, you know, boom, immigration problem solved, right? You know? We get a place people that really want to be an American, you know, they can be here and make it better. Those that don't, just... You know, bye bye. <laughs> Crazy. I uh, any American Idol fans? No. No. no? I'm telling you, I'm liking it more because you know it's got like more of a Jerry Springer kind of effect. You know, with the diva. I think they should rename it, call it American Diva. You know, because you got Nicki Minaj, you know, you got Mariah Carey, and they're both divas. You know, they always want to be. You know, and you got. Uh, you got uh, Randy, he's hanging in there. That guy's been there a long time. I'd be nervous if I was, if Randy was judging you, wouldn't you be nervous? He's got these big old bifocals, right? And he's looking at you, you know, say, dog, you got a zit on your nose. I'm sorry, your singing was all right, but that zit's got to go. You know? He's a, you know, he's an aging, aging hipster, you know, likes to use that term dog. I think he's going to mess around and use it one time, 
and he's gonna slip and he's gonna call Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey like a dog by mistake. And they're gonna go, what? You call us? So really, you mean we're female dog, right? And they're gonna jump on him. They're gonna pounce on him. But I think they should have American Diva. They should match it up, you know? They should have new uh, contestants, you know? We should have uh, another season with maybe um, Paris Hilton and uh, Lindsay Lohan, right? Wouldn't that be interesting? They'd be arguing over the coke, you know? <laughs> get my stuff. You're messing me, chick. Get him, get back. Chick fight, chick fight. I don't like the chick fights, I'm sorry. Somebody um, is international. I admire people that are international. Um, I, I had this question on this chick. She was uh, Spanish. And anybody speak Spanish? See. <laughs> My, that's about all I know. You know my, my, my vocabulary is very limited. You know, I was so nervous when I was like talking to her. You know, I went, how do you say what's your name? Oh, yeah, I, I went up to her. I said, you know, come with your mama. <laughs> you know, she think that was very funny. You know, that's all I could like. You know, try to remember. And then you know, when you when you like somebody from another culture, you're trying to learn. You know, because Spanish is a beautiful language. This is a time of the year when people start getting uh, kind of infectious and everything like that. Anybody like uh, running somebody that sneezes or you be sneezing yourself? Yeah, you know, after that first one is okay. It's like, you know, or even if you get like a triple, you know, I mean a double, you know, or a triple, you know. After some, some people like are in, are they're like uh, into this organic not cover your mouth, kind of miss. You know, then, ha -psh. <laughs> so, Does this person just do what I think? Ha -psh. You know, just spray everybody in the room. It's like, what's up with that? You know? And then you have other people that got their own definition of what's germs and what's not. You got people that were like, um, okay. You got the nose blowers, people that, you know, psh, you know, they use the tissue, which is cool. And then you got some other folk that I don't understand. They get that handkerchief. <laughs> What's up with the handkerchief? The handkerchief that's like dirty snot. You know, like you know, same thing. They're like you know, find a little spot and then like you know. And then you have people that are like the cyclists. They're like the snot rocket folks. Oh. <laughs> I had an ex-girlfriend that was just like we were like walking down. You know how when you're in a new relationship, you don't know certain things about a person. <laughs> Until you like walking down the street, and all of a sudden she like you know, I'm like, did she just do that? Deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> she did it. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I use public transportation, so uh, I ran into this lady. I meet people on the bus sometimes. Really beautiful chick. She got on the bus. She sat down, and um, she was like looking at these leaves. She was just amazed. One was red and one was kind of like colorful and she was just like looking. And I said, excuse me, miss, you know, if a guy came and like gave you that as a gift, you know, would, would that be acceptable with you? Because, you know, I'm thinking, God, you know, I'm on a low budget, you know. I, <laughs> and she said, well, yeah, if you said so and so. And she said, I don't remember what she said. Uh, ladies, what do you feel about that? You think that that would like fly if a guy gave you like a colorful leaf instead of a flower? Ladies, do I hear any? Do I hear any applause from ladies? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, fellas, you, um, you're writing this down, right? This is like holiday economics, so you know. Holiday economics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I thought I gotta find this lady now. She's gone forever, you know. She went away on a bus, and so I love low maintenance women. You know? If you like this again, it's uh, you know I'm David Little. If you don't, um. A hologram. I'm gonna blow up and I'm done. You know what? I'm gonna end on that.